Here's a super easy way to beat chimps on Polyphemus. All you have to do is hit restart right away and you unlock the water glitch. Uh, if this isn't working for you, it's probably patched. I assume it'll get patched within a month or so, but super easy to check if it's still active. Just hit restart and then try to put a submarine down. But after that, we'll just get a dart monkey in the top right that we'll use for vision later and we'll be off to the races. Next thing we'll get is twin guns. And we'll be getting that pretty early because it's like 10% off in this pool, as well as you get jungle drums and camo detection. So most of the monkeys that we'll be getting this run will be in the closed pool and you'll just get tons of buffs making the run pretty easy. But now that we have twin guns, we'll probably get advanced intel and then save up for Brickle. Pretty easy plan. Uh, this entire run, uh, should be pretty easy because of those buffs, but we're going to be going a sub commander and pirate lord Being buffed by brickle not the most optimal brickle strat because normally you stall for the mines, but uh, We won't need to do that as it's just an intermediate map we'll Probably get this up out quite a bit If you want you could probably get another dart monkey down here right now, but I just enjoy getting brickle first Let's see. Oh, another thing. Pirate Lord's super good on this map because it can attack on both sides. It makes the likes of round 63 really easy. Uh, and it's also easy to get Pirate Lord by then because of how cheap every upgrade is. All right, so we're nearing Brickle. I personally like to put Brickle on strong just because her pistol does a decent amount of damage. But you do you. All right, after that, get down another dart monkey the nice thing about this map <clears throat> is that we won't have to upgrade these dart monkeys to camo detection ones for round 24 just because everything in this pool gets camo detection later on we will just because it's nice to have uh the subs attacking camos out there in the 40s and 50s but for now we're chilling get air burst starts and then we can work on our monkey pirate see 540 oh let's go tuck this guy as far left as you can uh, it doesn't really matter how high up he is should work either way i just like to have him in the corner and then we're gonna make this guy a 240 the pirate lord has gotten a lot of buffs recently making him <clears throat> an absolute beast on tons of maps this one especially so we're just gonna ride him to victory. If you want, you could probably go an Energizer after the Pirate Lord, but I'm just gonna sub commander sub spam and it should work out just fine. Nice. So probably after the round 40 mob, we'll upgrade these to 002s. But for now, we're chilling. I'm deciding if I want to get this guy to a triple gun or just go straight to a monkey pirates. We'll see if we're struggling, but it should be fine. Another nice thing about this pool is that the uh, uh, price deduction and jungle drums stack with a village. So you can get double drums and like a triple discount if you want, which you could go like a discount village and a perma brew. It'd be kind of sick, but I'm just going to get a mib. So we'll just have double drums mib. Can't really complain with that setup. But looks like we should easily get monkey pirates by around 40 and then we'll just use the hook on it. Honestly, it could probably pop it without the ability, but it's the only mob that comes until around 50. So. It'll be off cooldown. Might as well make the round or the run go faster and the round easier. All right, so from here, we'll get triple guns. We'll get another sub. Put him in right there. Make him a 203 as well. And then we'll upgrade our dart monkeys for the 40s. One 
1,010. So nice how cheap everything is. All right, spam hook speed is important. There we go. All right, get enhanced eyesight on both of them just to make our subs a little better. We don't need APD anytime soon. Um, so we'll probably just save straight for a Pirate Lord. I think we should be fine doing that. If we start to struggle, we can uh, be like a villager in Alchemist Down, but I don't really foresee that happening. Oh, well, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get the Pirate Lord. I was debating getting an Arctic Wind right here and then putting a village down, but we'll do that next. We can worry about that later. We basically have a free village from the pool anyway, so. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, this uh, glitch where you hit restart and can put things in the pool only works on Impoppable and Chimps because you need to start on round six because that's when the pool closes. For whatever reason, hitting restart makes it open, in quotes, all the time. You can't even pay to open it, which is kind of funny. Just realized that now. 23,870. Easy enough. But, oh yeah, the reason I'm making this guide is I was going to stream me getting the black border on this. Uh, but my internet was terrible, so I decided to not stream. But I still wanted to beat it. So I figured I would just upload this to the VODs channel. Try to talk <laughs> the whole time. But there'll probably be quite a bit of silence. Probably we have music going. All right, we're approaching the Pirate Lord. Cheeky little 23k upgrade. Nothing we can't handle. It would be cool to get a Puma Brew. But that's more. That's more impoppable. It's an impoppable thing to do. Alright, now that we have this guy, we have nothing to worry about for a long time. So we want this ice monkey. I really thought we'd be able to place it. There we go. As far down and left as possible. Looks like that's about as far as we can go. We're going to make it a 032 Arctic Wind. This is going to be super nice for any ceramic rush waves like 63. Because uh, we have the Pirate Lord, 63 won't be tough, but it'll also help for super ceramics and just uh, general stalling. All right, now that we have this guy down, you can see that we can fit a village in a ton of places. And you do want it to affect the whole pool. But most importantly, we want to get our alchemist as close to the pirate lord as possible. So it prioritizes stronger stim on the pirate lord. We're going to make it a 401 because we're going to have so many subs to buff. All right. That's a huge damage increase to our pirate lord. Next. Ooh, where do I want this village? I don't know if I want it right here. It hits the whole pool. Might as well. All right, let's make this village a 200 for now. We'll be making it a MIB, but we don't need that until round 90. Honestly, you probably don't need it till round 95, but we'll be getting it at 90 just for a free, uh, free DDT defense. All right, round 63 is here. Uh, see, there we go. You can see that we have double drums now. Nice. I would get APD, uh, armor piercing darts on them, but I want a little more ceramic help for now. We don't really care about mobs. You can see the Pirate Lord cleans up. We get a little bit of stall from this guy on the ceramics here. Oh, they attacked early, but. They don't even make it to the edge, so we are just fine. All right, so all these guys are triple darts. I'm gonna get this one all the way to a sub commander. 
That'll just add a ton of damage. The reason I'm getting this one to a sub commander and not our first one is because this one's closer to the submarine. And I want it to be buffed more, more often. There we go. 22,950. Uh, one thing you can be doing is placing these mega mines. Now you can place them really far forward to pop the mobs uh, pretty early on. It'll definitely be able to, it can see mobs, but I can see BFBs for sure. The only thing is with this strat, blimps don't really get the, uh, that far. So I normally just put them on the left or uh, some last resort type stuff. Like I put them over here. That way, if any, any mob class balloon gets pretty far, uh, we always have that as backup. But you don't really need to be using them until the 90s. Good practice though. You can also use hook whenever you want. I like using it on BFBs and ZOMGs. Just because it's more uh, visually pleasing and makes the rounds go faster. But if you want to use it on, on normal mobs, you do you. I think you will be just fine. Let's see. Heck, we'll put one up there, speed up the round. Hmm. You can also be using uh, Naval Tactics, Prickles level two, and also the level seven, kind of whenever you want. Uh, my plan is using them on 95 and 98. Those will probably be the only two rounds that you need to use them. Might not even need to, but it will help out quite a bit. As a pirate lord with naval tactics on is a is a force to be reckoned with. An absolute menace. Also, it's really cool seeing these mines just loop around the outside. I don't even know if they can go through the trees. I'll have to pay attention. We'll let the blimps get kind of far, see if any of them fire off or nothing will get that far oh i think they did maybe that's parallel i have no idea anyway around 76 like nothing even happened this guy's pretty decent who is the most pops it is the parallel nice we can change that with some hooks though Catch Brickle up. All right, we're getting close to the sub commander. Be a huge increase in popping power. And then he might start catching up with his guy. Oh, I used hook for pops. I meant to do mine. Whoops. Catch Brickle up on some damage for absolutely no reason. All right. Now you have the choice here. You can either get all these to APD or you can spam subs. I'm just going to get APD. We're going to fill out the pool either way, so it doesn't really matter. And that was actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. Um, oh, another thing, not a boomerang. You can put down two dart monkeys here and here, make them both 002s. Now our subs will be able to attack even more. Not really needed right now, but it'll be helpful for around 195, I assume. Wrong button, there we go. Now I'm just gonna fill out the pool with subs. Doesn't really matter how many you can fit. I don't know if I can fit two here. I can. Okay. So you guessed it. We're gonna make all these guys two zero fours. Once again, this technically isn't optimal because normally you have an ice monkey up front uh, to stall, so you can place down like five mega mines, and you have a reactor, so Brickle gets her cooldowns reduced. But that's boring. What's way more fun is beating the map as fast as possible with submarines. Wait, did I get all these to APD? Okay, good. Round 85. 
We're probably gonna wanna get a MIB here, just to be safe. I mean, it's super cheap. We'll probably do the subs first, but... You'll see that once we get a MIB, the uh, DDTs don't really stand a chance. So that is very nice. Here we go. Get in the middle around 88. Can't complain with that. And then we go back to making 204 subs. All right, watch these DDTs get smoked. Absolutely obliterated as the train of darts heads their way. Oh, this could brickle some damage. All right, last sub, get it all the way up. And honestly, from here, we don't really need to do much. Heck, we're not even gonna use an ability and watch these ZMGs not even get to the, to the corner. Um, let's see, some good options you could get. You could get a 4-2-0 sniper set to strong. Um, you could be super cool like me. Get a mob glue. Actually, sorry, a relentless glue set to strong. Make it a 0-2-4. Because those are cool. I run 95. Do we even need to use an ability? That's the question. I do have my finger on the hook just in case they get far. But yeah, once they make it to the pirate lord, they they die. Probably this stuff probably helped a little bit too. The run 96. I'm gonna use hook just on the ZOMGs. I don't need to. Um, can we sneak another one in? I doubt it. If we can, we can get a first strike. If not, we will be just fine. 97, use a hook. Why not? Use a mine on 98. Will we even use Brickle's ability? Yes. Use hook again. The hook twice. Not even going to use uh, naval tactics, it looks like. You can. His 99's not difficult. We're going to use hook again on three reinforced DDTs. Drop, oh, drop a mine on the bad. Speed it up. Um, we won't even use naval tactics here, I guess. We'll just use hook. Nice. I don't even know if we use naval tactics that run, but that is how you can beat Polyphemus on chimps and get that nice black border. Beautiful.